Whiskey X-ray 9 Oscar, radio check, testing 1, 2, 3. Hi folks, this is Rob, WX90 with Mobile Linked. And uh, what you just heard there was an example of M17, a digital voice. Uh, so in this video, what I'd like to do is uh, describe uh, M17 real briefly, and then kind of uh, showcase how uh, uh, anyone can get on the air with M17 today uh, using some of the, the tools we have in front of us. Uh, and then, uh, you know, some of the other, give you a little brief overview of some of the other news that's uh, going on uh, in the M17 world right now. So uh, M17 is a digital voice mode designed for VHF, UHF. Um, well, one of the great things about M17 is we're using a, an open source codec, Codec 2, for um, the voice encoding. Um, that allows uh, experimenters, amateur radio experimenters like myself, um, to uh, you know, design uh, systems like this. Uh, that would be um, difficult or impossible to do with, uh, or, or extremely expensive to do with um, uh, a proprietary codec. Um, but with that said, you know, I'll, I'll, let me uh, briefly describe what we have in, in front of us here and, and how you too can get on the air with M17. So uh, what you saw earlier was uh, me using my uh, Android device here basically as a glorified uh, speaker mic. So it's um, using the microphone uh, to uh, read in uh, the audio. Um, it's converting that. It's using um, the Codec 2 vocoder to encode that. Um, it's connected to a TNC3 via Bluetooth Low Energy. And it's sending the data via KISS packets, um, similar to what you would do with like uh, sending data packets from APRS Droid over to um, the TNC3. The TNC3 is handling the baseband modulation, so it's doing packetization, um, forward error correction, 4FSK modulation, and that's being sent into a 9600 baud capable radio. And then uh, what you heard was uh, the audio being received by, or the, the uh, over the air um, FM being received by an RTL-SDR um, being demodulated uh, with RTL-FM and um, then passed on to the M17 demodulator for baseband demodulation, which is then, uh, and also uh, codec 2 decoding, which then entered into the um, audio system of my, of the computer off screen. Um, so with those components, uh, anyone can get on the air uh, and start experimenting with M17. Um, the uh, Android app is available on the Mobile Linked website, uh, or not on the Mobile Linked website, but on the Mobile Linked GitHub site. Um, the, there's experimental firmware for the TNC3. Um, there's also experimental firmware for the uh, Nucleo TNC. Um, so if you don't have a TNC3, uh, you can either, you know, for like $25, make the breadboard version of the Nucleo TNC or, um, you know, get one of the uh, PC boards that are available for it. Um, and then you need a 9600 baud capable radio. Uh, once you have those items in place, um, you know, getting on the air is, is fairly straightforward. Um, in addition to this, uh, we've got um, members of the M17 uh, team doing uh, work. Uh, Jonathan Naylor is modifying uh, his, uh, is enhancing his M7, his uh, MMDVM uh, code to uh, support M17. So we'll have hotspot and uh, repeater support for M17. Um, the OpenRTX team is um, developing firmware for MD380 DMR radios. That'll do M uh, M17. Um, and then, and we're ready to start um, kind of, you know, testing interoperability between these things. Um, in addition to that, the M17 project recently received funding from ORI that's uh, started to accelerate the development of M17 and has allowed um, us to put up our first uh, repeater uh, in Poland uh, and, and hopefully we'll uh, start accelerating the, the development and, and deployment of M17 repeaters uh, in the U.S. and in Europe uh, and, and elsewhere in the world. Um, so with that, you know, we'd like to start seeing um, interoperability testing going on. Uh, and, and my hope with this video is to show uh, showcase how using the tools that I've developed here, people can start getting online with uh, or start experimenting with M17 over the air. Um, so uh, 
in the future, um, I'm hoping to do more videos. Uh, you know, one of the things I'd like to do is uh, kind of uh, showcase how to um, tune an M17, uh, the, the system to get the proper deviation for, um, uh, for M17. Uh, and then maybe in the future do some interoperability testing with some of the other uh, systems that are out there. Um, but with that, um, what I'd like uh, what I'd like to do is invite you to join us on the uh, M17 Discord uh, uh, channel and, uh, and participate with us there. There's also an M17 forum uh, that you can that you're welcome to to um, uh, interact with um, on, on the Discord channel. Most uh, there's usually someone there, you know, 24 hours a day these days, uh, and uh, either can answer questions or, or point you in the right direction. Um, and uh, in the show notes below, I'll, I'll uh, link in how to get uh, the Android software, how to get the custom firmware for the Nucleo TNC and, and for the TNC3, um, as well as the, the software that we're using for decoding uh, M17 with the RTL-SDR. Um, and with that, um, thanks for watching, and um, till next time.